Well, well, back for this two-parter. I know. I don't even know. I just want to know what happens next. I know. I don't they, get it yet. They didn't even do it to be continued. Nope. You just they know. Very oh, cross. it started. Go yeah, I know, right? Your room. Oh, and they're all connected. I'm really glad that worked. <laughs> Those would have been terrible last words. <laughs> Sonic Blaster, 51st century. Ooh. Weapon factories of Villengard. You've been to the factories? What? Are you my mummy? Are you aware of what's around you? Can you... The police are on their way. Mm -hmm. I pay for the food on this table. Half this street thinks your missus must be messing about with Mr. Averstock, the butcher. <laughs> but she's not, is she? Ella. You are. She. <laughs> yeah, cutters, torch, food. And I'd like to use your bathroom before I leave, please. Oh, yeah. Ah! There's the sweat on your brow. I'm here now. Can't you see me? I saw <gasps> it to its room. Oh God! This it's is its room. Are you my mummy? Mummy? <laughs> mummy? He swapped it with a banana. Good source of potassium. Groves of Villengard thought it was appropriate. There's really a banana grove in the heart of Villengard, <gasps> and you did that. Bananas are good. <laughs> Gotta stay away from the hordes. Mommy. Yup, yup, yup. All right, Rose. That was clever. Okay, one, we've got to get out of it. Two, we can't get out of it. Have I missed Ooh. anything? Yeah. Huh? Jack just disappeared. Huh? Oh, I'm gonna need uh, to put on a Disney uh, movie tonight when I go to bed. Uh-huh. Remember this one, Rose? <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, I know. Captain Jack fixed me up. Oh, we're calling him Captain Jack now, are we? Well, his name's Jack, and he's a captain. He's not really a captain, Ross. Mm. Do you know what I think? I think you're experiencing captain envy. <laughs> You'll find your feet at the end of your legs. You may care to move them. Actually, I quit. Oh. Nobody takes my frock. Most people notice when they've been teleported. Then what fits my hands up? Jack called him, um... Nanobots? They activate when the bulkhead's sealed. Check you out for damage, <laughs> fix any physical flaws. The doctor just pointed out that his ship is also a Chula ship. Don't move! This is a restricted area. Oh no, miss. okay. We can just sit here for a he bit. He just has it. We're going to have to ask you a few questions. <laughs> Isn't that a song made from World War II as well? Like a really dark little song for children. It doesn't mean anything that, like what it sounds. It's like I don't know. It's like about Probably. bombing, I think. Just an amp. Probably. Oh. Sorry. Mommy. But is it fused to his head? I must know. Nano genes. It wasn't <gasps> empty, Captain. There was enough nano genes in there to rebuild a species, ready to fix all the cuts and bruises <gasps> in the whole world. But what they find first is a dead child, probably killed earlier that night. And wearing a gas mask. It's my fault. Oh, no. It is. It's all my fault. How can it be your fault? <laughs> Nancy, what age are you? 20? 21? Older than you look, yes? <laughs> He's not your brother, is he? Oh my gosh. Teenage single mother in 1941. So you hid. You lied. <laughs> you even lied to him. He's going to keep asking, Nancy. He's never going to stop. The future of the human race is in your hands. Trust me. And tell oh him. Oh my goodness. Are you my mummy? He doesn't understand. There's not enough of him left. I am your mummy. I will always be your mummy. I'm so sorry. I am so, so sorry. <laughs>
Captain Jack. Yeah. <laughs> He's not riding it. Good luck. The bombs no. already commenced detonation. Rose. Yeah. Aww. Goodbye. Software patch. Okay. Gonna email the upgrade. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Everybody lives! Dr. Constantine, who never left his patients. They also seem to be standing around in a disused railway station. Is there any particular reason for that? Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> cutbacks. Listen, whatever was wrong with them in the past, you're probably gonna find that they're cured. Just tell them what a great doctor you are. Don't make a big thing of it. Okay. Okay. Out of 100, exactly how dead am I? Termination of Captain Jack Harkness in under two minutes. 100% probability. <sighs> That's just it? The doctor isn't gonna come save him? Oh, okay. Close the door, will you? Your ship's about to blow up. It's gonna be a draft. It's gonna be a draft. Welcome to the TARDIS. <laughs> Rose! I've just remembered. What? I can dance. I can dance. It's so nice. It is nice. It just everything. I feel like I just noticed, like, we're both just beaming because it's so <laughs> lovely. Yeah. That just, one was a feel good just, episode. At first, it was not at all. No. And then it was so great. <laughs> That's also a very, a very, very uh, iconic villain because it's super creepy. Um, oh, so I was. You mean the the gas mask? Yeah, the empty child. The empty they child. Really, the villain. They're not. They're not there a villain, really but they are. There wasn't a villain. There wasn't a villain, but they're they're creepy. Yeah. No, I'll give you that. The the, the accidental they're monsters were. Scary very creepy mm -hmm. and the twist wasn't her it's, brother it's it was her really son bad. and that's why so are you my mummy did not see that coming at all yeah I, I like these this one and the dickens are these like these two these this two-parter and the dickens are so far my favorites yay yeah we still have a few more even oh yay tell me mrs Blair, this is such a weight off my mind i barely slept i couldn't believe my own readings the scale of it Oh boy. Like I thought the they were all gone. Thank goodness we've got you, our esteemed leader. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Who the hell are you? Ah! What do you mean, who the hell am I? Who the hell Sorry. are you? Captain Jack Harkness. Whatever you're selling, <laughs> we're not buying. Love Get him out my way. so much. I mean. Tell me, this must be Mickey. Oh, sweet. Look at these two. How come I never get any of that? Buy me a drink for <laughs> such hard work. But worth it. <laughs> wow. You find it? The number of deaths associated with this project. I think you and I should have a word in private. Ugh. But tell me, do you intend to make this information public? I have to. So be it. Mind you, my boyfriend thinks I'm mad. <laughs> When's the wedding? The 19th. It's really just to stop my mother from nagging, but the baby sort of clinched it, I suppose. I had quite a sizable family once upon a time. Wonderful brothers. Oh, they were bold. But all of them gone now. Perhaps we could do this another day. Thanks for talking. Wow. Made some accidental progress there. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> not even, excuse me, I sir. Such a nice day. She's up to eyes and paperwork. Perhaps if we could make an appointment for next week. She's climbing out the window, isn't she? <laughs> Yes, she I like that guy. Mm -hmm. He's like, I'm just gonna do my job. Mm. Yeah. That's funny. This doctor is very good at teleports. <laughs> I could do this all day. Oh yes. That a tribal physical waveform microkinetic extrapolator. Couldn't have put it better myself. Oh, genius. <laughs> the reactor blows. The rift opens. Phenomenal cosmic disaster. But this Phenomenal thing, cosmic power. Force <laughs> yeah. have this zoom, so you're safe. <laughs> then you feed it coordinate. The family Slavine was tried in its absence many years oh. ago and found guilty. With no chance of a tried. appeal. According to the statutes of government, the moment tried I return, what, I'm to be executed. Take me home and you take me to my death. Mm -hmm. Not my problem. And I mean, if the TARDIS can't leave until morning, we could... 
go to a hotel, spend a night. Both? I mean, if you want to, I, I've got some money. Hey, yeah, that's where I was living as Margaret. Nice little flat. Over there, on the top, two bedrooms, bayside view. I was rather I know what that is. I suppose I'll see of Ren Fair. <laughs> Nice doctor, nice move. But I want a poison ring so badly. They're right. so cool. I'm obsessed with poison rings. I love that. That's what you want. Tell me that. They're so cool. I want a poison cool. ring. I want to poison people. Only one I've seen. Oh, no, it's just a history. I'm going out with Trisha Delaney. I did not see that coming. Hello, Trisha from the shop. Yeah, Rob Delaney's sister. Mm -hmm. She's nice. Also questioning Mickey's intent of the let's go get a hotel room. Oh, by the way, I'm dating someone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, signals there, bud. They prepare a thin acetic acid, Ooh. lower me into the cauldron. Oh. From the boil me, and I become soup, and still alive. I don't make the law. But you deliver it. Can you stay to watch? You killed her and stripped her and used the skin. You're pleading for mercy out of a dead woman's lips. I can change. Mm. I don't believe you. That's never gonna happen. So who do you think you're kidding? At least I know where she is. Mm. It's got nothing to do with Trisha. This is all about me, isn't it? You left me! I can't even go out with a stupid girl from a shop because you pick up the phone and I come running. <laughs> oh! Not compatible. Remember, Jack was trying to like. He said that he'd shave off the 12 hours, but even though it's not compatible. It's using the it. Oh. One wrong move and she snaps like a promise. Had to throw that in there. I mean, it's so stuck. We're good, Magma. The heart of the TARDIS. This ship's Ooh. alive. You've opened its soul. She is. She's an egg. Regress to a childhood. She's an egg. She what? Can start again. If we take her home, give her to a different family, tell them to bring her up properly, she might be all right. Or she might be worse. That's her choice. She's an egg. Well, now we know it can do that. <laughs> right. For one, it can do that. <laughs> Travel through space and time and that. At least when you crack it open and yeah. look on the inside. Which sounds like it's not a recommended thing to do. And we know it's alive. Do you want to go and find him? We'll wait. No need. He deserves better. Off we go then. <coughs> Always moving on. Pretty long Next Rose stop, this time. Coracle, Falipatorius. It was weird because it kind of like tried to make them seem more, you know, like relatable, and then she still did all the bad things. So she did. She didn't kill that one innocent, but she still planned on uh, destroying the through with destroying the planet and would have killed the innocent anyway. Um, we know that Mickey is uh, displeased. Chef. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he, he made the choice to not go with her. He did. That was his choice. Yep. But she could also make the choice to, to let him be free. Yeah. And not entirely fair to him to get, not that emotions are ever fair, but to get mad at him for starting to date somebody else when she didn't, I mean, she's, she's been not emotionally tied to him as she's traveling space and time either. So like, yeah, it yeah. wasn't entirely fair, but it's okay, I get it. Yeah. It's emotions. But, yeah. Oh my god! I don't believe it! Why is that being in there? You're in the house? Oh, Isn't that brilliant? No. That's not fair. <laughs> We've got an eviction in five. Can't be. This looks like. Android activated! Oh god, the android. Welcome to the Wiggers Link. Yep. Just stand still and let the defabricator work its magic. Oh. What's the defabricator? I have, I have a feeling where this might be going. Okay, all right. Yep. Am I naked in front of millions of viewers? Absolutely. Ladies, yeah. your viewing figures just went up. <laughs> oh, oh, so the technology's still there. Need a word. Hold on. Uh... I think she got a few of the questions wrong. Uh, oh. I do know all about that. Well, I mean, the crying hysteria and begging, please let me have one more chance, kind of paved yeah. the way. And we've gone to the advert. 
This one is not hitting me in the feels like some of the other ones. I don't know. Oh. She's been human for years. Oh. Damaged property. What? Like this? Ooh. Fight and dirty. I like yeah. it. Oh, face. <laughs> okay, you stop. I think you look good with a dog's head. That's a compact laser deluxe. Where were you hiding that? You really oh my goodness. <laughs> Doctor, you've broken the house rules. Big Brother has no choice but to evict you. <laughs> you have ten seconds to make your farewell. <laughs> Called the bluff. I knew it. You see, someone brought me into this game. If they wanted me dead, they could have transmitted me to a volcano. Nothing. Come on, this. I'm getting out. <laughs> Come with me. Your lords and masters. No, but that's when it first went wrong. Hundred years ago, like you said. Hmm. All the news channels, they just shut down overnight. Repercussions. Like Blom me. said, or whatever her I name is. There was nothing yeah. left in their place. No information. The whole planet just froze. The government, yeah. the economy, they collapsed. These games don't <laughs> have a happy ending. You Sorry. Don't know that. It's sad. It's not funny. It's just such a weird one. It's Jack. He's, That's you know, right. it is Jack. Thanks. Wreck your bit. The correct answer is Polo Ventura. Stop this game! Stop! You are the weakest thing! Look out the end, Johnny! <gasps> Let's do it. Okay. Doctor doesn't get arrested. What's her name? I don't know. She was installed when she was five years old. That's weird. Mm-hmm. What the hell? Artist is our One. Uh But you killed him. What do you think? What do you think? People don't get killed in the games. They get transported across space. Dr. Rose is still alive. Uh, Yay. Yeah. What to do what? <gasps> oh no. Oh, she's a sad little story. I took him. Oh my masters. You can hear her masters? I've brought your destruction. More than 2,000 on board each one. That's just about <laughs> half a million of them. Half mm -hmm. a million what? Darlings. You will obey or she will be exterminated. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to save Rose Tyler from the middle of the Dalek fleet, and then I'm going to save the Earth, and then, just to finish off, I'm going to wipe every last stinking Dalek out of the sky. But you have no weapons, no defenses, no plan. Yeah, and doesn't that scare you to death, Rose? Yes, Doctor. I'm coming to get you. I like this. Ooh. I know. Like, where do you go? What do you do? <laughs> so many trash oh, cans. Yeah, look at all the space trash cans. Look at all the space trash cans. But my first real memory of the bad wolf stuff was the guys who were collecting the space things. That's what I thought was bad wolf. I thought it was that organization. If that's the organization and they were collecting Daleks as part of the, or the only remaining Dalek, or so they thought as part of, then what's the con connection to how the now the Daleks are running the whole thing? I don't know, I'm just kind of confused. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit, I guess, the future spacey stuff always. I'm just kind of like, what, where are we going with that? Because it was like that with 100 years before with Simon Pegg and then the, the frozen stomach lining. And yeah, then- it's, it's kind of silly. But yes, it did seem to get very important towards the end of the episode. Sure. Yes. yes. So now it's definitely, I'm interested to see what's going to happen in the finale now. <laughs> Good. And that is the point. See, this is like a transitional episode. I'll take it. I'll take it. We got there in the end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eventually. We found our way there. Yes. So on to the Sweet. On to the next finale. one. Yay! Yay! Hey, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe and like and stay notified and head over to Patreon to stay updated with everything on our channel and get all the content and then get lost with us in space. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty lost in space for sure. So. Uh, uh.